Yeah, sure. Fascist. They might be on the fast track to becoming a republic. Looks bad, Squibby. I guess Democritan ladies look a lot like the men to us outsiders. Ouch. Well. Oh, the June Juices is over here. Let's get that jerk his drink. He wanted a quack quack juice. Typical, the most expensive one. All the way upstairs, we got a shop. And this guy sells Mystic. get a Frizo and a Poisoner's Lag. Those are the types that Boots and Row have the most affinity for. While I'm at it, I can sell up some stuff I'm no longer using. These gems, diamond discs, and rowboat crystals are all stuff just meant for selling, I think. There's probably a shop that pays top price for these if you want to make the effort. I never really lack for money in this game. Ah, I forgot to sell my pre-owned shield cells. Don't need those anymore. I'll have to remember to do that later. Let's distribute the mistech. Note, by the way, that while Poots' affinity for Freeze is excellent, his affinity for Fire is pretty poor, which makes sense, I guess. Poor Biff. Oh, bird. You don't find out much about the state of Democritus when it was still ruled by an emperor, just that his name was Dusalion. Here's your juice box. Choke on it. No on Proposition 3. Squizzle Beats will not be outlawed. I hope this guy gets poisoned. Here's the voting computer. Of course not. Not absolutely everyone. Huh. That would make for an interesting video.
Let's break into another residence. Actually, it looks like the lobby of an office. An old Dusalion shield cell. Oh ho ho! Vistin Octagon. A new booty tooty point and shooty for boots. I hesitate putting on this shield cell for a moment because I don't remember if it's better than the Colossum one. But it gives me double the shield power, so let's put that sucker on. Or should I? We'll see why that's a bad idea later. Prophetic words. Hey. This poor droid is part of a mini-game that I'm not gonna cover. He'll tell you about an item lost somewhere in Votown, you go and look for it in all the little corners, bring it back to him, and he rewards you with an item, I think, like a heel grease. I believe you can repeat it infinitely, but I don't think any of the items he gives you are particularly good. racist. These guys have the pearls, more allies of the council. Lovely Barbara. I should introduce Pal to her. Yeah, I prefer some lumps. Oh yeah, pucker up, Harry. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Smooch. Yes, on Proposition 8. Marriages between ring dwellers and planet dwellers will be recognized by the state. Don't really get her disappointment if she was hoping to catch one herself, though. 
I think that's because it gets randomized whether the answer to this one is yes or no. Anyway, can't get through this next door. Maybe let's take a crappy tourist photo. Well, we're not there yet. Let's go into the Republic Inn. I don't want to say anything controversial, but it's a little difficult telling apart which Democritan I've talked to and which I haven't. Here we are. Busy place. Yeah, no offer of that free night at the inn, unfortunately. There's apparently some VIP staying at the hotel. There's another way to get this info, and you don't really need to bother with it, but let's give this guy a Christmas bonus. Oh, wouldn't want to do that. Okay, woggy dort herding is one of the issues being voted on today. If I can find Das Daskin, I can find out how to vote on that one. Room 401. And I can figure out another proposition if I find Merle Joyd, who the receptionist told me is in room 201. Nice to see democracy working out. You can do whatever you want, Ted. Well, take the stairs then. Only a few doors are interactable, but I'm just going to comb out the building floor by floor. Which is also why it doesn't really matter to get the VIP suite numbers. Red Bipetry, you say? I'll keep my camera on standby. 
Luckily, that security guard is too preoccupied to notice me breaking into Merle Joy's room. Inside. Here's a memo to Merle Joyd from Councilmember Hal Halpert. Pause and read it in full if you like, it's funny. Anyway, Proposition 4 is a yes on Pouce Cafe as the official color of next year's Festival of Choice, and this is another vote that's going to be consistent through multiple games, since they only made one graphic of the letter. Oh wait, Mr. Hill Grease complete in the closet. Oops. On to the next floor. Ah, here's why the elevator doesn't work. Oh, this door's just open. It's movie star Becky Hen! Well, that's racist. I'm taking your stuff as compensation for this slight. A double up racer. Another armband item, and this one seriously boosts your beat damage. I'll give it to Ro for now. She can use a boost. On to the next floor. Room service. So, here the game explains to you that in order to acquire new battle skills for Ro, you have to look out for science books. Anything else? Well... Looks like Das Daskin is not in his room. That gives me an opportunity to steal his heel grease and taco. This is a job for Ro. Rose's world skill is Analyze. She can puzzle out things that are too complicated for your other guys. The Analyze minigame is usually not difficult. Arrange the dual pips at the bottom in such a way that they make one continuous sequence. Sometimes you have to match specific symbols or colors. So we bring the map along with the advice to find a different vantage point outside. Let's continue. Up to the top floor.
Hmm. Can't get into any of the suites on this floor. There's just these two dudes talking openly about their apparent kidnapping victim. Well, we've pumped this place dry. Let's leave. Oh right, there's supposed to be a red bibbidry around here somewhere. Keep those ears open. So, as I was playing this, I realized I'd lost a picture I'd taken of the Red Bippy at the Sin Dormitory on Sender Station. You might have noticed I haven't stopped to save at a Time Minder for quite a while. That's because I used the game's patched-in autosave system to continue where I left off. Things stay fairly consistent if you do that, but clearly photos aren't saved properly. I'll have to take that picture again, but from here on I'll be sure to use the Time Minders to save. We have a few more propositions of which to puzzle out the council's votes, so let's step to it. We are quite high up here. Let's pull out that weird map we picked up. Holy hell, it matches! Let's go to the highlighted spot. Where, wife? Wife? Uh... Oh. Uh... Thanks? I feel kind of bad that I can't tell him his wife is probably being held on the top floor of the hotel. Two more props to puzzle out, and we're gonna need to collect Pal for one of them. I missed simply talking to this person to learn another voting choice. Harsh. Those who smuggle drugs onto Democritus will be forced to take all of their drugs at once, causing a likely death sentence. Let's go get Pal. Because of my use of auto saves, these robots have respawned, though they're not hostile. Democritus is actually the one place where the game will allow you to swap out Boots for a different party member. Later, Boots will be a fixed member and you can only swap out your other two guys. I don't love it when games have this system where you have to frequently switch out party members in order to, you know, get all the content. But the one thing that's nice is that your inventory remains shared even with the characters not currently in your party. In fact, even if you're on a completely different planet, you can still swap equipment between your guys. It doesn't make a lick of sense, but it's a lot nicer than having to travel back to your meeting point just because you forgot to take an important piece of equipment off someone. We have a couple of jobs for Pal now that he's here. Let's see what his data port unlocks. Fire retardant roundlet. Eh. It might come in handy. Let's pop into the Republic Inn one more time. 
Both sides of the reception desk have a data port, but if you hack them, you just get the VIP room numbers from PAL without having to bribe the receptionist. Kinda useless, really. Are they just gonna make us watch this sick filth? Oh, I can see her everything. With that, we have the last of the council's voting choices figured out. Let's head over to the Palatron and do our civic duty. And here's our Gold Council Ally card. That should get us an audience. Oh, I think we're gonna be disturbing. <laughs> 